Hey guys, um, some of people express interest in the cow that I'm working on on Facebook. So I thought I would show you um, how easy it is to um, make this cow uh, or to make a scarf using this pattern. Um, you can use it in baby jackets, baby blankets, um, hot pads for this like you want to make cot use cotton and you can double it over and sew it together and you can make a nice hot pad to sit pots and pans on out of cotton now don't use acrylic um it just it has a lot of uses for this stitch because it's such a, a um, thick and poofy stitch but if you use a lighter weight yarn it also becomes a very delicate and lace lacy stitch so um Create a chain as long as you want. Um, what I did was I did a row of half double crochet after I made my chain and then I started my I chain two up. I skipped three half double crochet and in the fourth one I went I started my puff stitch and I did it all the way across to the end. So I'm going to show you how um, I do the puff stitches. I'll pull it back a little bit so I can get how two full wants to show you on. And I'll try to keep my hands in the uh, camera for you guys. So, what you do is you're going to yarn over. Let me just make sure there's a chain to there. Okay. You're going to yarn over. You're going to go up under your chain two space. Yarn over and pull that loop through. I use my thumb to hold my loops. You're going to yarn over, go under again, pull up a loop, yarn over, go under, pull up a loop. I do this four times. Okay? And that gives me a total of two, four, six, eight loops plus your chain two from your previous um, puff stitch on your needle, on your hook. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pull it through all those loops. And then you're going to chain two. And this is the part where you create your V V stitch puffs. Um, and then you're going to yarn over and go under that same chain two space, pull up a loop, one, two, three, four. And I find using your thumb keeps these loops from slipping so you don't end up splitting the yarn and everything. And it's easier to pull it through all of those. And then you're going to chain two at the end. And then you're going to go over to your next puff stitch chain two space. You're not going to do anything in the chain two spaces between puffs. You're going to make your work in your puff stitch chain two space. And that way, your um, all your puff stitch are, are aligned. They line up on, on top of each other. So we're going to do this next one. Yarn over, go through the loop, pull up one. Yarn over, pull up two, three, and four. And yarn over, pull through all the the loops, chain two, and repeat. Your honor will go through one, two, three, and see I just twisted that because I wasn't holding my loops, so I'm letting that out. So that's one, two, three, okay. And this is four, two, four, six, yeah. And your honor would pull through all two. That looks a little wimpy. If it doesn't look right, just pull it out. That's what I love about crochet. No lifelines required. <laughs> Yarn over one, two, three, and four. And there we go. Now that looks right. And chain two. Now when I get to the end, this is my chain two right here where I chain two up on the end. I yarn over, I go under that chain two, I yarn over, put it through, and then I pull it through to like a regular double crochet. And then I chain two up. Okay? And, and then I turn my work and I start working in the next chain two space on the puff stitches. Okay, and that is how simple and easy this stitch is. So, um, I look forward to seeing any projects you guys make with this. Like I said, um, if you need a more in depth tutorial, like starting from the chain, just let me know. But it's very simple. As you can see here, like I said, I chained. And then I did a row of half double crochet. And then when I started my first row of loops, I when I got to the end of my row of half double crochet, I chained two up. 
and I went to the third chain went to the third chain from the um, chain two up to do my first um, cluster uh, V stitch cluster V stitch puff V stitch cluster however you want to call them so yeah well, V stitch puff because I think you make cluster stitches different than this uh, but it might be similar and yeah so that's how you make this pattern um, very very pretty and if you do it in a lace weight yarn oh wow it is super super um, it's just very very interesting stitch okay take care